Hello, hello, and welcome to the CTB Show, Baltimore's longest-running podcast. Today is July 14th, 2021. The weather. <laughs> it's all about the Cool Island vibes, and by that I mean my Grand Cayman-based sex toy company. Welcome to the show. My name is Evan the Mayor. That is Brian the Levy. I wonder if... That's true. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> and that is Casey the Casey. The Red Guardian returns triumphant. Thank you. Thank what you. is All that? right. Black Widow. Oh. Yeah, I guess uh, we will discuss that. Uh, before we do any of that, I would like to announce that this is the Good Vibes episode, uh, except for some minor details, because uh, I just got back from vacation and I'm feeling it. You can see by my virtual background if you're watching YouTube. This was this is my view from I, I don't the old know, uh, thing. I don't know how many people follow you on like the Facebook or like Instagram, mm -hmm. but Me you go, you personally you uh, Evan the Mayor, uh, but you go on vacation the way like Michael Scott goes on vacation, you know, <laughs> except that you don't you don't just have one picture of you and and, and your lover. Uh, getting a massage, you have a billion pictures, and you're very excited to show everybody. Uh, that's interesting that you would say that, because I didn't take any of the pictures, idiot. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I saw them all. <laughs> well, he just goes not... on vacation with a documentarian. <laughs> well, right. he, was he was tagged in all of them. I was. was that's not my doing. I, had, I took, like, maybe yeah. three? Maybe? Uh, Mostly landscapes? You, you do love nature. I do. I, I enjoy do. it thoroughly. You we, do, uh, uh, but but you but you but let uh, I'm excited to talk about your vacation. I want to know how it was in Turks and Caicos. Uh, it was great, wonderful, uh, very very interesting. Well, the location we stayed at was very interesting because it was at, out in the middle of nowhere, which is saying a lot for an island vacation trip. Is uh, Turks and Caicos one where you're allowed to leave the resort or what? Yeah, we we spent a lot of time not being resort bound in fact where we were staying was more of a condo building than anything uh but it was adjacent to the national park of turks, turks and caicos <laughs> so did some long beach walking all the way to the very end of the island and you realize when you get to the end of the island that you are several miles from any human beings and you could die of exposure very is, easily is the national park of Turks and Caicos, like an adventure land kind of thing. Uh, I wish it is literally just scrub brush and like volcanic rock that can kill you by touching it. Are and there are, are are there like fossils or like tortoises? A lot or anything. There are iguanas, and we saw a shark and uh, a lot of conch shells. If you're a, a shell enthusiast, I uh, I got one of these guys. If you're looking on on the YouTube's, pretty pretty big guy. How many people do you think are shell enthusiasts? I don't know. Probably. I mean, listen, Brian, if you get a niche audience going on YouTube, you can monetize anything. <laughs> I have a question. What yeah. do you love more, shells or birds? Hmm. Well, I can't keep birds on my shelf. Uh, you could, I, but you'd have to train them. I, right. I could ash in a shell, not necessarily a bird. Um, are you going to turn it into an ashtray? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> you know what? Got this shell. Might as well start smoking. It's going to wear it around my neck all the time. Uh-huh. Um, it'd be kind of no, like Flavor Flav, but it'd be like a big... Right, picture. right. A, a, uh, a big-ass shell. Well, and, th and this way, if, in case he ever uh, gets on like a deserted island, he can take control of the group of boys that will be there with him. He says, I have the shell! <laughs> That's right. You, the fat one with glasses. I'm the leader now. Here. Get over here. Oh, uh, piggy. Highlight. I'm gonna make it real brief, but highlights of the trip. If you're if you ever go to Turks and Caicos, take one of the the excursion boat trips. I, I, some of the most insanely gorgeous water fun you'll ever have uh, snorkeling around and whatnot. Um, uh, we I didn't realize there was a Club Med location in Turks and Caicos, but we went there for an evening, and they do a night pass where you can enjoy the all the amenities of the all-inclusive resort without staying there which is you, awesome you would think they would call it club car because it's in the caribbean as opposed <laughs> to the mediterranean 
So what is, so like I've heard of Club Med. So what exactly is Club Med? Club Med. And this is how old I am and we are, whatever. As soon as I post, posted a photo or two of the fact that we were at Club Med, there was like references to pe- people being naked. Uh, Cause I think that's the, hedonism. That's hedonism. Yeah, it is. But also I think at Club Med, there was some ongoing rumors when we were kids about like people getting nude and running around but no, it's basically just a, a fitness resort. Uh, you can get well, massages. You, there's tennis pros. There's like trampolines. There's like. Fun- I think it's it's where parents want to fuck. Maybe not necessarily the kind of kinky fucking at right. hedonism, but like Club Med was like where your parents went. Right. Yeah, it, it is. There are no kids. Uh, there's a nice giant pool. There's several pools. There's several restaurants. It's, it's very nice. Um, I wouldn't want to stay there every, all day, every day for like six days or whatever because we we did a lot of driving around the island and saw pretty much everything you could possibly see on an island that's only 39 square miles so there are there monkeys on turks and caicos are the what are there monkeys no there there are barely birds i mean we saw sometimes there are these tiny little monkeys that live in like those places they i think that's more of like central america uh okay the, the caribbean islands but um yeah, we saw some birds, some iguanas, some tiny little lizards, and a lot of fish. And that's all I got. Great trip. Wow. Yeah. Did Hannah have fun? Of course. Oh, because you told her to? Every Yes. <laughs> I instructed her to have fun. Hey, you. Oh, uh, yeah, everyone, no, everyone got along. Everyone was, it was great. It's great. <laughs> uh, question. Oh, so it sounds like not everyone got along. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll there find was a out minor, about There that. was a minor incident on a boat uh, that... We involved one of our party, but, you know, whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, like one of your party versus, like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're out? Or, like, uh, what? Sort of. <laughs> but it's Oh, okay. what happened? What happened? I'm not, I'm definitely not talking about it. All right, well, you tell us. No. You'll, you'll tell us. <laughs> you, tell us you, missed a, you missed a good opportunity, though, Evan, for the name of your company. Oh, uh, yeah. Instead of one? good vibes, good vibrations. Good vi- Oh, okay, yeah. Another, yeah. Right, that'll well, be the, the subsidiary. <laughs> everybody knows how overly litigious uh, Marky Mark is, so you probably don't want to. I got the. I didn't realize Marky Mark was part of Beach Boys, but yeah, um, could go either way. Come on, I think come you're on. Both litigious. <laughs> My, Mike Love is going to sue the shit out of you. All right, so <clears throat> I went on vacation. What did you guys do this past week? Casey, did you, you do anything this vacation? I, I ain't done shit. <laughs> I ain't done shit in fucking weeks. <laughs> I got uh, back from vacation and just been working nonstop. Oh, right. You were on vacation. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Catching up to work today was miserable. It was not fun, um, especially because the cat, after being away, producer Mila, after being away for a week, is like having an utter meltdown. That we well, I'm at. sure she was hungry. Uh, yeah. I mean, I left her a bowl of food. She should be fine. But. Did you just dump a whole bunch on the... Oh, no, wait, yours, it releases. Like, you don't even got to worry about it, do you? Yes. Well, but I had uh, people come by literally every day to give her pets and, you know, whatever. Well, that's nice. You the didn't only, ask me. The only... Tra- <laughs> well, I don't want you having a house key. That's, that's a natural fact. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> I promise. Only- I promise. I would have J-O'd only in the bathroom. <laughs> But I would have to- once. Into the toilet tank, no doubt. <laughs> into the toilet. Oh, well, yeah. Here's, so the, here's the question. It, is there anybody, like, would Brian get a key before anybody else that you know? Or is he literally the last person that you would give the key to? Uh, he's not the last person, but he's not yeah, in the top I'm, 20. <laughs> I mean, I'm relatively trustworthy. I'm a <laughs> Dean's List college student, Casey. You know, I don't know if you know that about me. Brian Levy, colon, Dean's List college student, not title hey. of the episode. Hey, well, you know. And in parentheses, like currently. Title of <laughs> me. Hey, it's it's a it's a, it's an achievement no matter when you do it. Put that on your LinkedIn, Brian. I, I have a LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm shocked. End of the story. Yeah. All right. So uh, nobody else did anything. That's fine. But I'm just I guess- like killing time till school, man. Like I got nothing going on. And it's, re- it's actually really boring. Well, it is amazing how time can fly when you, I remember being, you know, college uh, summer break and when you aren't working or, you know, like I, I worked at a restaurant, I worked on the water taxi, but when you're just kind of like coasting, playing video games, jerking it and napping, like, it, yeah, it can really. Oh, were you here? Were you, are you hiding in my bedroom? <laughs> no. Oh. 
Well, yeah. yeah so but, I realized. Oh. Nope. Go ahead, Stacey, what, what did you realize? What was your epiphany? Right. Uh, that I've got like six weeks to, to get ready for uh, this baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Brian's gearing up to go back to school. Casey's about to have a second child. Oh, you know what? Listen, odds are I could have had a kid at some point in my life. I'm sick. I'm sorry. Whatever. I mean, you, you might, know. you might just not know it. I would be really surprised. Oh, I, at this point, it will come as quite the shock. It was but Casey. Casey. It was ki- Casey. It was kept hidden from you. Right. Well, and Casey's like, I got six weeks to that kid. That's all I got to say about it. Casey, how you feeling? You're about to. You're about to go from uh, you, you had a nice zone going, and now you're man to man. Like, how do you feel about it? I gotta come up with a name first. That is, that's a little tough. Oh, Casey, uh, you know, Ken I think we already Jet. know what the name is. Ken and or Jet and or Herman. I mean, we've been, <laughs> we've been watching a lot of Highlander, so like Duncan Ooh, is in the Duncan running. Duncan is good. I would take a Duncan. Not I would also it. take it. I would take a Connor or okay. Casey. Casey. That's- what about a Richie? Maybe I'll, I'll add it to the. Oh list. my god! I'll add it to the list. All right. Well, I mean, um, I'm, I, it's it's official. I'm adding it to the list right now. Is 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 Mythos on the list? Have you gotten the Mythos? No, yet? that that is not on the list. The problem um, is that some of our other ones um, have been taken. Like other people that we know have taken our like preferred names. So now we're kind of like, what is one of the preferred like, names? Go deep. What about um, Galaxy's so, Edge Cochran? Like, what are the chances are that's going to happen? It's in the running. I'll, I'll add it. Donald but, uh, Duck Cochran. <laughs> Howard uh, the Duck Cochran. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride Cochran. Keep on trucking <laughs> Cochran. Oh, Satellite right Cochran. What were, what were some of the names that have already been taken? <laughs> I know. Um, Hawk was taken. Hawk? Um, Hawk or Hawk? Atlas, I think, was taken. Atlas? Um, Whoa, Atlas. Way double name that I ever came up with. (laughs) Wait, Hawk? Hawk? H-A-W-K? Or somebody uh, else took that? H-U-C-K. You were going to name a child Huckleberry? (laughs) Were you going to name a child Huckleberry? We'll we'll leave out why, but yeah. Well, no. Here's what you do: just name him. I know it's because you love the n. You love the n word, and you want to uh, uh, you want to immortalize that with your child Huckleberry. I got it. I got it. It, Oh, Wyatt Wyatt Earp. We'll have to add that one. Wyatt's good. Wyatt's a good name. He's he's saying Uh, Huckleberry, and I'm thinking Tombstone. Like, oh no! It seems to me that with the naming of this child, you're condemning them to be a motorcycle rider and or a trucker, long haul, comma. Or, or you know, just a Grateful Dead song. Well, you know, Cassidy, mm. <laughs> American Beauty, Cochran, Uncle John, Cochran. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, John Sugar, Mag- <laughs> Sugar Magnolia, <laughs> Cochran. Uh, Casey, what are the chances this child has a first or middle name of Darth or Boba? <laughs> no, Dark Star. Okay. <laughs> Dark Star. I don't even know what that means. Dark Star Orchestra. Oh, you've Bob. already agree- you've already agreed on the middle name, and it's going to be Dark Star. That's, Dan and Dark Star Cochran has a very nice. Oh, ring holy it. shit! That's a that's a kid who fucks. I'll tell you what, fucks like, hard and has a punk band. He, yeah, you know what? He sees his he, like he gets head from his teacher when he's in junior in high school, <laughs> and then he's like, "That shit's no good." So he went to the principal about it. That's a true story that happened this week. I saw those headlines. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, no, it really happened. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta push things along. It's been fifteen minutes. So uh, anyway, Canon Dark Star Cochran. If, title of the if episode. I mean, if it's not that, my feelings will be hurt. <laughs> the most important part. Well, you know, I, this baby is about anything. It's about me. So. Just just when you think he's done, like he goes another fifteen to twenty minutes. <laughs> about this baby? Oh, I'll talk about right, this baby right. forever. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Brian and Casey, uh, I, I, I only was just made aware of this, but the results of the Baltimore Sun Readers poll that we were talking about some months ago at this point, I think it was, it was like oh. in May that they, uh, the nomination started or all that other nonsense. Thanks uh, for nothing, all of you. Uh, right. It, it turns out that we are not only not good enough to win, but we are not good enough to get an honorable mention. 
And some of our other friends that have podcasts didn't get an honorable mention either, but I am truly puzzled. And I'm specifically going to speak to the, uh, <laughs> the podcast winning list. Uh, some of these podcasts, yes. I, I just don't understand um, how, how. Uh, Brian, you were mentioning that one of them only had two episodes in the last year. Yeah, yeah, in like January and June. Okay, were they four-hour episodes? Uh, were, was the production amazing? Was it, you know, like hardcore history from Dan? What's his face? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not listen. I just wanted. <laughs> I just. I just saw that and was disgusted and said, "Enough, enough." Um, my work yeah, will never I, be appreciated in my lifetime. It, <laughs> It, it, I think it goes to show all of us that the, the, if you have a very large email list of family members that will vote for your shit, you can. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I have, I have a Facebook fan page and what did that do for me? <laughs> you do? Uh, you, you know what? Okay. You're right. I'm not on this show. I mean, uh, shall, shall I use the royal we? Sorry. You, you, you also have a Facebook fan page that did nothing for you. <laughs> well, I, I mean, to find nothing because we have ad revenue and i don't think these other podcasts what up motherfuckers <laughs> boom dollar, baby dollar, dollar bills, y'all. What's up, what's up, what's up? i mean i think i know where our downfall was it was changing our fan group to a t-shirt fan group listen um, if you're if you're a fan of our show and you're not a fan of fucking t-shirts i don't know what to tell you listen to the wrong show bro I think I think the one the one honorable mention that kind of fucked with me was the one entitled Harford County Living with Rich Bennett. That's not Baltimore, man. That's like it, Columbia or something. It, it doesn't even matter what That's it is. How. Like Harford County Living. It reminds me of the the podcast when we did the um, Baltimore Podcast Festival. Uh huh. The like um, oh, the the, one oh, the, Catholic, like Catholic, the Christian people. show, the Catholic show. <laughs> Yeah, hey. well, there was that, and then there was like the like holistic medicine show too. Sure. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. Uh, I, I did enjoy the 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 what explain it to us the one that was like you you just mentioned good. a random Wikipedia thing and you have to right. like that appeals like, to a broad audience as opposed like to one right. of these shows Very like so, silver lining playback. You know, I, I I that they have an actual show. You know, we should we should reach out. Okay. Whatever. Friend of the show, John uh, Hauser, and his podcast not on the honorable mentions list. And I, well, I think, and, and that, that was I the think they're every bit as okay. popular as we are in terms of an it, audience. It was the one thing that made me feel good about it because at least if I'm not gonna, <laughs> at least they failed. At to. least at least my friends also don't win. But, but, like that's really what I care about. <laughs> Mutually assured failure. Yep. Title yep. of the episode. Love you, John. Mwah. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, at least Justin Burke won Best Meteorologist. He's got a great Facebook presence. He was like, hey, bros, sorry I missed Elsa. I was away on vacation. I was like, <laughs> okay, dude. I mean, so, I mean, you did notice that uh, Reagan and Bethany were on the honorable mention list, right? <laughs> uh, I, I did. I did. Uh, I, 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 saw, I saw Bethany in a liquor store uh, and about, about a month ago. Uh, and she was like, isn't that weird that we were like nominated for that? She was <laughs> a like, weird. I'd almost rather it didn't have it. He's like, well, you know, get him on my time. I agree. All right. But like we were saying earlier, uh, this is the good vibes episode. We've got all the griping out of the way. Congrats to all the winners. Yada, yada, yada. I don't think this show is ever going to get in the top spot anytime soon. Uh, unless, unless we really fucking nail it in the next eight months. Okay, we can do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some guests. We're going to have to up our game in terms of uh, microphone and uh, recording technology and probably get some more cameras. Yeah, you're doing good with the headphones. I need like, to get like my toddler on. They're yours, you know. Inter- interview the toddler. And there you go. It's just like guaranteed. Questions for Canon. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Listen, ask us anything. We're three years old. How old was that kid? He's three. He's three, He's three oh. tomorrow. Yeah, Whoa. But- Happy birthday. Wait, well, yeah. right. As we are recording, it is tomorrow. But right, oh. As of air new, date, it is yesterday. New segment. You know. We're going to ask a question, and we're going to ask Brian, and we're going to ask Cannon. And okay. we're just going to, I'm going to read read the answers off, and then you have to guess who, was it Brian, <laughs> or was it Cannon? 
Ooh, was it Brian or was it Cannon? Do, 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 I, do, do, do. I like this idea. Uh, what is critical race theory? Go, fellas, <laughs> go. It's when you race around really fast and you get so fast that you start to hurt and then you have to stop for a few minutes. All right, all right, all right guys. What lives matter? Go. <laughs> so, so, Brian, why is the sky blue? <laughs> Uh, Casey, because Uh-oh. the atmosphere and stuff reflects the solar rays that come from the sun and it f- reflects all the colors back and then your eyes see blue. Right. No, incorrect. It is because no, that what, is where rain comes correct. from. That is where rain comes from, Brian. Ah, you yeah. know? <laughs> no, no, no. The real answer is there's an ocean up there and sometimes a little porthole opens and the water falls out. But aren't I, wasn't my answer right? Well, yes, but in the context of this, no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I just want everyone to know that I was right, because I took physical... Uh, He's like, geography. I just learned this yesterday. <laughs> I, I just learned this, like, last uh, fall semester. I took uh, physical geography. All right, so uh, before we get to shout-outs, I wanted to get uh, to two good news uh, items about the state of Maryland in general, and uh, also Baltimore City for once, uh, other than the shootings and the murder. <laughs> uh, yeah, Maryland just reported two days straight, no COVID deaths. Nailed it. It's good news, baby. Uh, uh, they also have, uh, in the city of Baltimore, just looked this up on the COVID-19 dashboard, which I love that they just call it a dashboard. Uh, I, I, the city has surpassed 60%. Every, uh, 60% of people have had at least one vaccination. So by yeah. even the mayor's previous metrics, no more masks. I can go to the gym. Whee! Hooray! I haven't yeah. been wearing a mask any place anymore. You, you are or not? I am not. Yeah, being in Grand, or Grand Cayman, Turks and Caicos was very strange because it was like some places it was very kind of masky and other places not so much. But the getting back via two airports, an Uber and all the other transportation, it was literally wearing a mask for like 10 to to 11 hours and it sucked. It really sucked. Um, But you only had to really wear it on the plane is what you're saying. No, in the plane, in the airport, in the car getting back from Dulles, uh, everywhere it was it was kind of shitty um but uh look not only has uh, state of maryland not had any deaths uh over 70 percent of people are vaccinated 75.6 percent of maryland's <sighs> adult population is at least one vaccination and they are extending the to-go alcohol policy to all bars and restaurants for another two years so all in all, I'd say that uh, COVID's been a success. <laughs> yes. It brought us to go alcohol at the cost of nearly 700 American lives, but hey. Listen, first you get the walking around with booze. Then you get the legalization of cannabis. Totally separate issues, but whichever, however it happens, I'm happy about it. Mor- morals, are, morals are finished. I mean, they were always finished as far as you were concerned, but uh, morals are out, morels are in. That's 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 the millennial in me. So, is this after when the previous order expired? The previous order, yeah, because they because they they basically like ended ended the to go alcohol sales, but then there was like this lapse between when it ended and like on July 1st. And um, like the, the local boards, the, the local pause, counties deciding. Basically, it was a pause. Everyone took a little break to like reevaluate and consider the ups and the downs of allowing this to happen. Uh, the state, ma- the state sort of go ahead. Basically, left it up to the local liquor boards to figure their shit out. Um, I think the city has said that they are going to reevaluate in the fall question mark. Okay. Um, whereas some other counties are like July 28th, we're going back to doing it. You can get up to two, two goes to go. Yeah. Um, County, the Baltimore County has approved it for two years, uh, two drinks per meal. I, I, this is a complete no brainer to me. Like if you're doing carry out in any restaurant in the city, you can get a fucking orange crush to come along with you. Uh, as long as it has a lid or whatever, you're not just standing around outside drinking it. Um, 
But at the same time, uh, uh, an area like, well, maybe this is a bad example, but, you know, Fells Point, where it should be, like, kind of an open-air beer garden, just saying, as long as there is enough police presence to prevent people from killing each other, which I think doesn't it's Brian seem to Levy's, be working. I think it's Brian Levy's uh, best idea. Just put out fucking beer, f- like, cellars in the square. Control it. Cellars? Oh, beer yeah. cellars. Like, not, well, you, know, I thought like, you meant, like, underground cellars. <laughs> <laughs> no, like people selling beer. Put beer right. tents out. Yeah, beer tents. And then be like, like in Towson, where they have like the carts with the hot dogs, but it's beer. <laughs> yeah, three, bu- three, three bucks a fucking beer, and then you'll make a billion dollars. And then you can take it. And then you can take it away. However, you take it away. I would um, think that a beer fun. cart, beer cellar, uh, outdoors in the middle of Fells Point, that would be like a seven dollar Bud Light. That'd okay. be the airport prices. Well, they're fucked. I mean, then they're just fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. They don't have any overhead, so maybe it could be three. I don't really know. Oh, who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> you know what they need next Never to the... Never sell. You know what they need next to the beer cart? Is Tell the me. jerky cart. Ooh, yeah. That's where I come in. Because you get thirsty from the beer, and then you need something salty to make you more thirsty. Yes. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a place where you can make like prank calls. Oh, yeah. The, the, jerky, the jerky boys cart. The, the, the jerky boys <laughs> That could be the title of the episode. I'm not, I'm yeah, not entirely it. convinced. <laughs> it's not going to be. We'll see. Yeah, I, I, I always have to listen through twice or more to edit these goddamn things. Good time. Well, you do a great job. Yeah, thanks. Sometimes. You're usually. You're welcome. Depends on how much day drinking I've been doing. Good. Yeah. Either way, it is now time to celebrate. 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 The internet sensation. Dance to the music. What's going on here? Sweeping 92Q. Oh, and the nation. Sandra, shout out. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, shout outs is the part of the show in which we give mad props, aka shout outs to persons, places, and things that are giving us jollies and improving our quality of life. Casey, I gotta tell you, at some point, we're gonna have to get back to asking for. Them. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you they're yes. thirsty for it. They want it. Well, you gotta have pent up demand, baby. It's like, oh, oh where are the shout outs and shut ups going? You can't just ask people every week. That's wild. Casey, what do you got? Uh, shout out to Shark Week. Um, it is Shark Week. Officially Shark Week. Is it called well, no. Shark Festival now? I heard or no, something? No, it's just Shark Week. Shark Week? Okay. It's I probably like the other channel. That calls it Shark Festival because Shark Week is, you know, discovery trademarked. Yeah. Gotcha. I live every week like it's Shark Week. Um, and uh, Ted Lasso rewatching season one. It's such a it's a great show. Season two comes out next week. It's such a great show. That's the one that's on like, Apple. Yes, TV. it's on Apple. Uh, it is on Apple. It's, it's like it's made up. People are like, "Oh, the show's yeah. so good." I'm like, right. "What are you watching on like your magical?" I'll get it on like, DVD. <laughs> What, yeah, here's, sure. Here's the trick: you you wait till season two is over, which is in it's going to be in twelve weeks, and then you pay five bucks, and then you just binge both seasons before the end of the month, it's, and then you cancel it. It sounds exhausting because it is. Yeah. I mean, if you're an adult, I mean, if you're if, if you're not an adult, maybe. Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! Oh, Brian, did we both that? get burned? What's that? Did What's we just that? get burned? Is- is that a knife, Evan? Listen, is that mainly, a knife? Is mainly I got, a knife I got in my skin. Back? I got literal skin coming off of my arm from that that sunburn that I got, and that burned much worse, Casey. God. I'm sure it did. I'm sure. Ow, it did. I don't think I can. Ow! You know what? He this show is over. We're done. He doesn't. He doesn't ask for shout outs and shut ups. He's <laughs> mean to us. Like God. What a dick. Casey God. ruins this show all the time. Oh. He just comes oh. out with these horrific insults. Casey, Casey, did you hear about my divorce? You got anything to say about that? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh, oh. Casey Cochran, colon, insult comic. Oh. Yes, insult. Casey, comic. Casey Cochran, insult comic dog. <laughs> My shout out is to my neighbor that just got married on an actual mountaintop in West Virginia and had their reception in the woods. It was a, a very interesting thing to look at on Instagram. So Mazel talk to them both. What do you got, Brian? Juice? No. Were they juice? Oh. 
Uh, oh, right. Uh, so I think it's been talked about that I have to leave my television on and some kind of running so the ring light stays on. Uh, so <laughs> You don't have something. to do that. Well, I mean, it's how I have it set up. Uh, so I don't have to pay attention to it. I put on 90s commercials. Mm -hmm. And I would like to give a shout out to 1998 uh, Alyssa Milano. Okay. Just, just amazing. Like the Charmed pinnacle. Era. I mean, yeah. Is absolutely fucking incredible. 1998, Alyssa Milano. All right. Okay. And that is big shout out. Out. Hey, hey, yo. <laughs> and trying to get with this. Act like a tennis shoe. shoe. And, and just, just do it. All right. That has been shout outs. And we will now take a quick ad break because we still have those bitches. All right, we're back from an ad break. Thank you very much for listening. Hopefully you didn't hit that fast forward button and you do uh, support our advertisers. Hey, if you guys go to Smite Jewelers and say the city that Breed sent you, they'll give you something. I, if, if we could get one person to do that and just post a picture of whatever the hell it is, I, I'd please. be immensely pleased. Please just And I think so it. with A. <laughs> could, could you just do this for me, please? Just one of you. Please just spend $75 at this. Just somebody... God. Wow. wow. God. Wow. A state jewelry. Just go fucking do it, please. God. Please. Just say our name, please. Casey, I will pay you $75. I yeah, yeah, actually. You got I didn't to to call them. You've been to mean them. to God damn it, Casey. You don't even have to tell them that you're on the show. They, they we only that. have three weeks left. It's got, no Casey, it's got to be you. It's got to be you for because you said those things about us about how in the first part of the show about how much you hate us. You, it has uh, to be you. I've been so mean. Uh, it's been so mean. It has to be you. It has to be you, Casey. You were about to tell me something, Casey. Off the air during, we, when we were in our break because this is how this is how this would go. Casey says I'm so old, <laughs> and I said, "What do you mean, Casey?" I said, "You're five years younger than how old are you?" 30, 30, 35? I, I don't I can't even remember. 35, 36? I, I don't remember. Okay, so either way, I was like, you're five years younger than me. Maybe you're two or three years younger than me. Uh, either way, you say, I say, why do you think you're old? And you started the sentence, well, my Roomba. And I said, just <laughs> stop. Why do you do this? Why do you do these things now? And now, Casey, I want you to tell me about your Roomba. So on Amazon Prime Day, uh huh. I bought, right. I bought a okay. Roomba. I bought the one that maps out your floor. So and far, so you normal. Can, yeah, and then like it, it maps out the floor, so you can say like, "Hey, go to the kitchen," and it only vacuums the kitchen. It doesn't do everything because I have a toddler who leaves things everywhere. And during the break, I got the little notification that said your floor has been mapped and it's ready to go. I've been waiting like for two weeks. I've been trying to like been running it, trying to get it to map out my floor, and then finally finished and i am really excited casey how does it feel to be <laughs> complicit in the rise of skynet why I'm, do you i'm okay with it why why do you think it's fun for you to sell the u.s government the floor plan of your house i mean apparently i'm not selling it they're not, they're not giving no me any didn't, money. oh i'm sorry you're not selling it <laughs> You bought something so somebody else could make money off of it. Uh, my my fault. My fault. Brian, Brian, I got I got bad news for you. What the government? The floor, the floor, the floor plan is public record. <laughs> You're right. I forgot. They're in the, they are in the city. Uh, they are in the city <laughs> records. Fair enough. Fair enough. But those blueprints need to be there in case there's a fire or something. Unless you I, illegally I, I, change everything. I totally agree. You know, zoning is amazing. Um. All right, Casey. Uh, complaint yeah. withdrawn. You own a, you own an iRobot. I've got two. Uh, 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 one for upstairs, one for downstairs. Ken? No, Ken? I got the regular one and then a mop. Uh, are Roombas a mop? Are like? <laughs> is it like a, a pole that just? No, it is a little 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 circle thing, but it mops your floor. I think it would Questions. be so much better. I it, so much better if it was actually a mop with like little squiggly arms and googly <laughs> eyes on it. It's like, hello, I'm mopping. 
I think it is common knowledge the love that the City That Breeds uh, podcast show has for uh, the seminal film RoboCop. Uh, yes, Robert we Cop. All, we, we all know that unfortunately the downfall of uh, the ED209 program was the fact <laughs> that it could go up or down stairs. <laughs> not, Casey, not a damn one. <laughs> Just Casey, like the Roomba. <laughs> how does the Roomba do with stairs? It does, well, it doesn't do stairs. Oh well, that's a problem. That's a problem. It gets, mm. but well, but it does sense when it gets to the edge and it says, "Hey, I can't go over this." And well, it uh, turns so around. Here's what we need to do: aside from my island-based sex toy company, uh, establish a Roomba that can do stairs. Take it to Shark Tank and make Stick a, a dildo on it. Oh, okay, what? <laughs> yes, it can please you, but it all co- it can also clean clean your stairs. And uh, we're looking for ten percent of uh, forty million dollars. Uh, who, who's it? Mr. Wonderful, would you like a royalty deal? I, no, I have a question about your valuation. What, how much have you sold year to date? Uh, we are pre revenue. Um, we have and you're asking for 40 million dollars. Are you fucking insane? We, Nobody here except we, for Laurie. Do you own a patent? We, do you own a patent? Uh, we have a provisional patent. Um, oh my god, it's okay. a utility I have this patent. drawing it's provisional. On the back of a napkin. <laughs> It says patent on it. I wrote it uh, listen, while drunk. Listen, uh, fellas, uh, you know, I think that I'm really proud of everything you've done so far. So far. Well, it looks you, like you're you, doing great. But thank this you. is not necessarily a space that I want to be in right now. Wait, what? So therefore, no. I'm going to have to say, I'm out. Any other any other sharks want to take this deal? No, I was, Mar- I was Mark, Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban and, I was Mark Cuban. And <laughs> if I'm not doing it, nobody is. I can't. I can't believe this is happening. We, I sunk my entire life savings into this. Yeah, product. your your robotic dildo is just too creepy. It's like not even uncanny. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Cuban. It is not just a dildo. It cleans your stairs as well. Okay. And you know, I got to make I got to make that. <laughs> I gotta slogan, make that. Let, let me pitch you the slogan before you, for, for your final answer. Okay. The slogan is, it cleans all your nooks and crannies. Question. Do you think you can do a robotic flashlight? I mean, aren't they already? I robots? think they exist. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure. I'll call you. I'll call them. And scene. Amazing. <laughs> we are actors. Extraordinaire. If that doesn't get us a nomination for next year's readers poll. Uh, I just don't understand why people don't like us. <laughs> That's it. It's mostly you. We did. Uh, you know. I mean, you did give a shout out wonder. to. Gotta wonder. <laughs> You did give a shout out to, was it 80s or 90s version of Alyssa Milano? Well, well, let's get yep. this right right now. 1998, Alyssa Milano, an okay. adult, sir. Uh, speaking of Miss uh, M- Melissa an amazing Milano. Actress. Have you seen Charmed, Casey? No, I haven't. Well, you know what? Yeah, high five Casey on that one. <laughs> Charmed is good. Charmed is good. <laughs> There's all kind of like white lighters and stuff. That is all right. Let's go. Uncomfortable. Come on, let's get to the pop culture shit. What was I not talking about Charmed? Yeah, the not, most popular not show. Not the- on the, the show notes page. Yo, Casey, you and I saw uh, Black Widow. We did. Yeah. Uh, did you like it? Um, it was decent. Is the best way I can describe it. It was. It was good. It was. It was I, a movie. Seen. It was a good movie, um, but it no, wasn't. I didn't say that. I said it, it wasn't. wasn't a movie. Um, I've been waiting for two years since you know for the next Marvel Oof. movie release. Good. If I but ever I wanted liked... to, if I ever wanted to know what like a TV a mar a, a legitimate MCU TV movie would look like, if in nineteen ninety in nineteen ninety eight that movie would have like premiered on NBC. You know, like oh, would, get out of here. That would have been a Sunday night movie event. Like you would have parked your ass in front of the television to watch that. I mean it. That movie was not that good. That movie was it was it was it was good. Okay. It it was good. It was not that good. This is it why we do not have a movie podcast. <laughs> it, was well, okay. it was good. I, it was fine. So, no. It was good. I, it, was it was fine. fine. That movie was just Completely fine. Like that David movie Harbor. was. Be- 
I like David Harbour fine. That movie was as good. That movie was better than Thor: Dark World, but like, what other movie? Like, is it? Is that it? Better is better than Iron Man two, and maybe even Iron Man three. Okay, I might take that. I love Florence Pugh. Iron Man three is really good. Iron Man she was good. They should have Casey. They should have called it. the new Black Widow instead of the Black Widow because it was it was her movie like it was it was her movie it was about setting her up as the next version of the Black Widow and yeah have you ever seen Florence Pugh and anything else no I've heard she's in a couple of other things that are pretty good uh, but I have not seen her in anything uh, she was in like Little Women and stuff I did not see that uh so I watched, I watched Black Widow with the, um, the sound off. Cap- no, no, close, <laughs> close caption on though, and I feel like that made me not like the movie as much. So I think I'm gonna have to go back and uh, turn the closed caption off and then watch the movie again because I kind of like watching stuff with the closed caption on, but like I feel like reading it, like I could read it faster than they were saying it. So it was taking all of like the acting out and I was just doing it in my head. And it did not work as well. Do you think, th- Casey, do you watch movies with closed caption on? No, I watch everything with closed captions on. Oh, like, I, I, since, oh ever God. since college, it is a standard in my house to have closed captions on because inevitably somebody's going to be talking during whatever you're watching if anybody's around and you have I, to be able to read it. I also, I, I well, and, and I also just uh, ascribed uh, Corey uh, Feldman's uh, character from. Sam, I mean, you know how that time that his dad like put his ear against the stove and like now he can't hear. I just put that to you. Now I believe that you have an ear that can't hear. Right. Oh my god, you guys are fun. Well, anyway, no, uh, no, no. I, I agree with you, Brian. Uh, but but you know what I like better? Dad it made him hard of hearing. Yeah, and now he uses. Sorry, what did you say? There you go. See. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. Uh, but you know what I liked better than Black Widow? What? Loki. Oh, yeah. So a lot of fun. Lo- a lot Loki of fun. episode five. We got one more left. We got one more left. Yeah. Uh, I liked all the Easter eggs in five, just like everybody else did. I only caught yeah. the one. Uh, and then some of the, well, the I mean, Thanos like, copter. Uh, no, I did not catch the, the Thanos copter. No, I did catch you didn't the, see the helicopter where that says Thanos right on the- No, I must have <laughs> missed that brief moment. But uh, I did but, see but Casey, the Frog I- Thor and uh, the Simpsons esque underground whatever, love, but that, which so, was somehow maybe tied into the the short, the Simpsons short, which was so dumb and bad and awful. Uh, fortunately, it was only six minutes long. I, I thought it was just so like it wasn't good. It didn't like, have any the, jokes. It was just like, ah, hey, I'm Loki. I'm here. Oh, now all the Simpsons characters are Marvel characters. Wow, and, and that was it. And that yeah, was the end. Of literally, it. Like, that was it. They've done a lot of really good shorts, and this was not one of them. Right. Uh, well, I don't know if you're right. I haven't watched any of the other ones. I just noticed that was oh, there. You should. I was like, okay, is this some, some, some sort watched, of weird time? I watched that one, and then I watched the the Star Wars one where Maggie is battling the other baby with lightsabers mm-hmm. and daycare. With the unibrow. Yeah. They're okay. Great. Well, no, the I'm best so glad they're is... all under Disney now. I mean, uh, uh, wow, so many crossovers. Great. I think the best one is a play date with Destiny. That was that's my favorite one. I think that's what it's called. Well, it doesn't what, matter. Which one is that? That's like uh, Maggie falls in love with a uh, guy at the uh, uh, playground. Sounds scintillating. Well, and then they, they, there's like a series of vignettes and it shows a relationship and it's nice and sweet and it's actually very good. Okay. A play date with Destiny, highly recommend. Uh, On Disney Plus. On Disney Plus. Thank you, Casey. Uh, the, oh, God, please. Uh, the, the, the alligator, I mean, the, the star of the Every, show. Is, everybody is loves Croaky. <laughs> Croaky. Al- well, so, like, I love the, like, alligate, like, is the, if it's um, Thor as an alligator, alligate Thor. Right. There's a lot lot of puns. Aloki. What is the, like, so what, we other than biting people's hands off, what is the alligator Thor's magical power? Does he need, a, uh, does he need more than one? You know, 
What can you do if you can't push the button, Evan? Did we learn nothing from Starship Troopers? What? Remember when he when he throws the knife at the guy's hand and he's like, oh, what if he can't push the button? So if Alligator Loki can like just bite everybody's hands off, well, they can't fight against you. Their hands got bit off. Yeah, Is took- that his power? He can bite everyone's hand off? What if yeah. Hands? <laughs> like, what a so- fucking trickster. <laughs> I'm eating your so hands. Is, it, yum, is yum, his yum. arch nemesis Captain Hook? Oh, shit. I but guess. Captain I mean, Hook is definitely afraid of the alligator, right? Yeah, the fucking alligator wins against Captain Hook. That's literally how Hook ends. Like, the big clock tower goes, ah, <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Was that, oh, a ghost? Was that a ghost clock alligator? Well, that's what I believe. Yeah, it was haunted, and, right? And all right-thinking people do. I want, I want, I want me, me, me. I want a cookie. I want a bear. Are there songs in Hook? No, that was his speech about like how children suck. Oh, oh I don't, I don't remember that movie because it's fine. <sighs> I can't wait to show my kid that movie. Hook? I haven't seen it in a long time. I mean, it's a oh, Spielberg movie. Seven. That's all I got to say about it. I mean, it, it has some cool moments. It's got Julia Roberts. She's hot. Like Robin Williams. Like I get sad when I see him in stuff now because it's just the way that he passed away was just so brutal. Like utterly brutal. Um, that's all. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. Um, it doesn't have alligators. Oh yeah, it does. But... Uh, are, are they crocodiles then? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Casey, who's in charge of the TVA? I don't know. Like I, I feel like you're gonna it's get not a Kang. Kang. It's not. Kang. It's not gonna. You're not gonna see Kang. It's probably it, it's thematically it has to be a, another version of Loki. That is uh, how yeah. this is going to play out. Yeah. Um, but I think you're going to get like I think Kang's going to get name dropped because what's her uh, with the Renslayer I think her name is. Uh-huh. She's tied to Kang in the comics, so I imagine oh, okay. that like she gets like a phone call or something. Be like, hey, I'm Kang. Like, you're going to help hey. me out. Her name is Ravona. Hey, Ravona, it's me, Kang. The the Kangster, listen, Kangster needs help, okay? Uh, my Loki's about to get taken out. Uh, I put him in charge of the Void. You want to be You want to be my number two again? Hmm? Listen, what I was hoping was, like, you could help me take over time and space because that's just my thing. So, so in the comics, and I don't, I don't know much about the cosmic stuff. And, and I'm really a Marvel should. guy, and and this isn't cosmic stuff. This is like, oh, like there's a lot of Kang that he's an Avengers villain, and I'm a Fantastic Four guy. Okay, so I'll, I'll do my best. My question is, do these, do these? So we've got you know our mega villains, the super mega villains in the MCU. Uh, Kang did, is one did, of them. Did Kang and Thanos ever like interact? That's a great question. Uh, Casey, Google that real quick. You're just do <laughs> Kang Thanos. Casey, uh, I look it up. Uh, like uh, Alexa, Kang Thanos. Uh, I don't know. Um, truthfully, what's really being set up is for like the Young Avengers because like right. y- you've got your uh, Patriot in uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. You have your uh, uh, girl Hawkeye coming up in Hawkeye. You've got uh, Kamala Khan's coming up in the Marvels. So you've got all of your uh, young kids set up. Plus oh, Wicca got, and Speedy or whatever their names we're, are. We're in WandaVision. You've got grown-up Cassie uh, Paul Rudd in Ant-Man and shit. So like, What's her name? Like stack, sta- Stature? Stature, yeah. What is her she can, thing? What does she do? She can grow big or smaller. Oh, okay. I mean, she can grow thing, big. Man. Yeah, same thing as in So, but like it's in her and stuff. She don't need like a belt. Uh, so, like you've got all that happening, and then, but what you also have is Iron Lad, who ended up being like a young Kang mm. uh, to fight against Kang. So, you know, all this so is, is is Kid Loki going to be in this? Maybe. Uh, um, I think we already did uh, see Kid, Kid Loki. Yeah, but is that kid coming back? I don't need to see that kid in movies or nothing. I could like get like a good oh. actor. Like, what's Timothy Chalamet doing? Like. Let's not fuck around here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. 
So anyway, like I'm really enjoying Loki. Uh, I don't know if I've been like overly thrilled with any of the TV stuff thus far. I think this like, is the best, the best so far uh, for me. I mean, uh, I, I I think we were all riveted by WandaVision at first, and for me now, first. it's kind of like meh. Uh, Fal- sorry, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Um, I just thought it was a steady a steady seven the whole time. It was fun. But that's kind of my opinion of all the all of the Captain America properties, except for now, Civil War. Now, here's a question: Is the fact that we don't have to go to the movie theaters that these like we don't have to put any thought into like the enjoyment, like a lay off cash, like the fact that we don't have to get into a car and drive to enjoy these things? Is that affecting how we feel about them? Um, I well, I think I would have been. Well, let's be let's be clear: like if if you had paid fifteen bucks to go see Black Widow. Uh, and gotten popcorn and, it, you know, whatever, and you went with a girlfriend or something like that, and it wound up costing you 50 bucks total to see what you call an NBC Sunday night movie. Oh, I would have liked it more. Because <laughs> you have got the sunk cost fallacy. But, you know, I'm saying, like, when I'm now watching these these shows and movies on the television, I'm like, I don't need to see these on an 80-foot screen. Like, I really don't. I mean, it is going to take something really interesting for me to go back to the theater uh, at this point, especially when they're giving it away. You know, if I'm paying 15 bucks a month on HBO Max and every Warner Brother property is just being shown. What's what's the next movie you go see in the theater? I don't know. I really don't know. I'll, I don't think I'll ever go see a comedy again in the theater. Uh, maybe uh, there's something Oof. about Mary 2. <laughs> but, but, but so I almost went like we I, were about to go see Black Widow in the theater and I just wasn't feeling good so I was like if I'm not feeling all that great why make the truck out to the theater when I can just rent it and watch it on my couch in my sweatpants right. I think I will be completely honest like I think for the the whatever factor I will I will if it's available in 3D I will go see Avatar 2 <laughs> There, uh, Star Trek Four re-releases in August. Who's coming with me? Where? They're doing an event, they, like, they, a, re- like a like a road show, like the thing that we went to for Star Trek Two. No, no, no. Shatner's not going to be there, but like Fathom Events is doing like ah yes. You, you know, we uh, we we did one of those when they aired uh, Best of Both, Both Worlds in the theater at Arundel Mills, and it was it was very fun. It was well, let's fun. go see Star Trek Four. Okay, sure. so so we're doing it. Right. Great. All right, here we go. Uh, let me. Have you been? Read have you movies. been googling? Have you been googling Thanos Kang this whole time? <laughs> I did. I can't find anything. No. Uh, right. So Space Jam. So, so, so Space Jam's like the next big one, I think. Not gonna That's see it next next week. I'm gonna watch it. Oh, on You're HBO not Max. Watch, you don't even know what? I'll watch it on, HBO, watch Max. on HBO Max. Yeah, I'm gonna watch yeah. on HBO Max. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm let's like, see. Like going to the movies for that. Yeah, we and need something to talk about on this back end of the show. God. And uh, I don't watch HBO Max cases, so eat shit. Jungle, the Jungle Cruise? Uh, no, absolutely. Huh? The what now? Jungle Cruise the, with, with Jungle, The Rock? It's based off of Casey's favorite uh, Disney ride, The Jungle Cruise. Oh, right. <laughs> Casey, what if I told you that once upon a time you were in a room with an actual Jungle Cruise skipper? Oh yeah. Wait, who? What? Yeah, Casey. Who? I know. I know a jungle crew, like close personal friend with a skipper. Hmm, my friend okay. Sheila. Yeah, it's true. Just name drop the- Sheila, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's the traffic. Um, she's the traffic lady for NBC Philly. That's cool. Yeah, I actually. So my local theater, the the theater here in Dundalk, still has the original Jungle Cruise movie poster. Um, so what about Snake Eyes, GI Joe Origins? No, not going to the no, that. no, totally unnecessary. They only made two of those GI Joe movies, and both of them kind of sucked. Like I yeah. thought they were fun in a in a just very shallow kind of way, but like Snake Eyes, really? I mean, yeah. he's the coolest animated right. one, but no, no. I don't understand why they, they they've never just subtly introduced an a soldier named uh, Duke into a Transformers movie. Right, because okay. isn't that is isn't that the main character of GI Joe? Some guy named Duke. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and that would open up a big world of crossovers. Yeah, like maybe you can get some like, oh, was it Matt uh, Stryker? Is that a uh, mask? 
<laughs> Mass Crusaders working, working overtime. overtime. Fighting Fight crime. Oh my god. Oh my god. What about the Suicide Squad? Yes. M- On board. I will, okay, no, I will go to the theater for that. I will. Yep. Absolutely. I think so. Cause I like I like James Gunn. Um yeah, I like both Guardians movies. I like all of his shit. I, I just like everything everything he does, except for that weird tower movie that wasn't that great. But uh I whatever. Think that, that, that could be that could be my next movie. I go see in theater. I let's think, make a date. Yeah, no, I think I am Bill the Cat's greatest fan. And when I heard that James Gunn had based the weasel in Suicide Squad off of Build a Cat, I said, well, this is a movie for me. <laughs> what was I, Build a Cat's, like, big, his, like, not act, because that's Kathy. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> T-H-P-P-B. T- hmm. <laughs> Title of the episode. And then he got, he got uh, like, who shot Bill the Cat was a big thing that I remember from the 80s. God damn. Do we uh, so to to close this out? Do we ever think Please. we're going to get a uh, Howard the Duck movie, a new one? Mm-hmm. Uh, I was supposed to make I, a cartoon, but I don't I think we're going to because I saw the the trailer for the What If animated thing, and I was like, I'll watch it. I thought you were going to ask if we were going to get an Opus movie. I was like, Oh, fears crossed. <laughs> uh, but yeah. like, other than Suicide Squad, I think. The, the other well, Marvel movies I'm interested to see in theaters, and then Dune, and that's about it. No, Dune sucks. Everybody, I have been quite public with my feelings on that. So, uh, Sam Raimi is involved in the new Doctor Strange, right? I think yeah. he's directing it. I think the the camera shots and that are going to be fun as shit. Like a Sam oh. Raimi Doctor Strange, I, I think I'm in. Yeah, I'll definitely go see like Marvel movies in the theater. Like that's a no-brainer. Uh, yeah, I, I think that the 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 further que- like I don't think I'm ever gonna go see a comedy or like an art film in in the but, theater again unless it's at the Charles Theater or something like that. But is it weird that like it can go months at a time without movies that you'd be like, well, I guess I could go see that, like because that's how it is now, and that's weird. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I was really. I actually like. <laughs> My plan was to go see Black Widow in theaters, and then when it came push push came to shove, I was like, I don't really care that much. I was surprised. Yeah. By that. Well, no, I mean, I agree with you completely. Like, I wasn't doing nothing today. I could have gone to the movie theater. No fucking way. You are like, literally in walking distance from a movie theater. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's shut down. It doesn't oh, exist oh. anymore. What? Is it a beast trip? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, so, I'm, yeah. I'm sad about that. Yeah, that sucks. I love that theater. Yeah, I, I mean, got, especially because there, there aren't a whole shit ton of theaters in the city. Well, there's the senator. There's, and there's I could, two. <laughs> and I bet you the senator is running uh, Black Widow. Probably. I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know. Right. Well, you know, all of that makes me a little angry. Oh, my God. Oh, there's there's no. one. Hold on. There's what? one movie you should oh. go see in theater. And that is Star Trek the, in uh, August? Ball. Baltimore Rock Opera Society presents whole a puppet <laughs> oh anthology. Oh, Casey. Oh, that was good. Sexy. Good catch. Good work. Go support the Baltimore Rock Opera Society at the Senator Theater. Holes, it's a co- puppet, something or other. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, holes. holes. Not starring not starring Shia LaBeouf. In July 15th, so coats. tomorrow. So tomorrow. You said the 15th? The 15th. July okay. 15th. Well, well no. Good, good plug, dude. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, the 15th. Great. Anyway, That's I already said, you know, it makes me a little angry. Ah! Uh, it makes me a little pissed off Oh, my God. <laughs> makes me want to go ahead and tell everyone to shut up. <laughs> All right, this is the end of the show in which we tell persons, places, and things that are lowering our quality of life. Uh, and giving us the opposite of jolly is a hearty, proverbial, or literal. Shut up! Casey, what do you got? Uh, shut up to toddlers learning that uh, the, the old I need water routine right at bedtime. Don't know who teaches it to them, but Woof. they need to shut up. 
<laughs> Shut up to toddlers. Thanks, yeah. thanks, thanks, mid eighties uh, stand up comedian. Aww. Awesome. Uh, hey, what's hey, the deal you know, with toddlers? Hey, hey, who here's got some kids? Yeah, I know we've all got some kids. Hey, Listen, you got kids? You got kids? Yeah, I got kids. Have kids. I, you know, mind. kids. I love them, but you know, they drive me crazy. You ever put, try to put them down to bed and they're like, Dad, can I get a glass of water? Could you and also said, tell me a story? Read Moby Dick to me, please. And I said, and this is going to be my catchphrase. I said, you don't want none of that. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Casey. Thanks. Also, and that has been also, Brian's Type Five. Thanks. <laughs> also, shut up to those first two days back in the office. Oh back God. to work after after a week of vacation. You Do guys it. ever go on? You guys ever go on vacation? And then have to go back to work. <laughs> oh my God! And your boss says, "Do something." And you said, oh. "Don't try me today." You don't want none of that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, Casey. I had already forgotten what the what the catchphrase was. <laughs> I think you don't want none of that. Is fine. You don't want none of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. We should Thank we you, should Casey. try to do our podcast at the Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We get booed off so fast. Oh my god! We walk great. out. It'd be so Hi great. everybody. Hello, <laughs> Brian. I thought you were going to say that you forgot what, what being at work was like. Oh, Casey, I remember that. That's why I'm not like aching to go back. I got I got applications. Don't worry about it, Casey. I'm good. I'm so bored. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, my shut up is to Dulles Airport for having literally no connection to public trans- uh, transit oh my God. and uh, being in the middle of nowhere, basically. It sucks. It sucks yeah, to travel. For, you know, I'm not judging that. First world problems. Yeah, basically. Sorry. We are rich. You are not. Ha ha ha. It's cool. Are you? Oh, yeah. You know, like. I think it's like a real bummer when, like, to be like, oh, the weather is so like hot. But, bro, I walked outside like every time for a sink today and just straight up fucking melted. Sweat. Like, yeah. no, like, you know, like when you're so sweaty, like the back of your hair gets like yeah, wet. soaking wet. wet. I, like, that shouldn't happen six minutes in. Like, you know, and like, that's not on me, I think, at this point. I, so, uh, you know, shout I left- out to that. No, I, I completely agree. But you know, meanwhile, like as is an annual event now, the West Coast is on fire. Uh, I, I left the house two times to go water the plants. That's it today. Like it I is oppressively yeah. hot, right? Like yes, they yes. Can't just, they can't be like when there's like a whole bunch of snow, be like global warming, right? But then like when it's really super fucking hot all the time, they can't be like, well, global warming don't exist. You know, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? It's a cannon asked to go outside today. You know what I told him? Absolutely, the fuck not. He's a. (laughs) 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 All right, this has been. (laughs) Yeah, that's where it ends. Yeah, this has been episode 370 of the CTV show. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, please. Uh, You know, I have to say about the YouTube channel, like the more of that um, non-podcast content that I'm uploading, the the more subscribers we're getting and maybe some bleed over is happening. Uh, We're never going to get 10 million views. That's fine. I don't care. But, you know, maybe somebody wants to see how cute we are. Uh, In the meantime, the downloads are going well on the podcast side. And, you know, (laughs) unlike uh, all of the other Baltimore Sun Readers Poll podcasts, thank you for sneezing. Uh, We Um, have no... I tried. I tried. (laughs) Like have, it's, uh, it's we, super humid. It's super hot. There's mold. I am dying here, man. We got ad revenue, baby, and uh, you know, onward and upward, onward and upward. Eight years plus doing this podcast. <laughs> We're legitimate. I mean, in our own minds. No, you know, with the Baltimore yeah. Sun, Baltimore Sun, they, they they listened to an episode. And you know what they said? We don't want none of that. <laughs> Goddamn, Casey. Goddamn. All right. Thank you very much for being a fan. Thank you very much for being a friend. Have a great day and a better tomorrow.